when last we checked in with the Oberlin College situation, they were hit with an extra like $4 million bill for refusing to pay the Gibsons. But they they were still pending an appeal with, with the, I think it was the Ohio Supreme Court. Now the results of that appeal have returned. Ohio Supreme Court declines to take up Oberlin's appeal. College will now have to pay Gibson's Bakery, the business that they smeared as racist. The shops lifting and subsequent protest of Gibson's Bakery happened way back in current year minus six. It took years for the Gibson's defamation case to make its way through the courts. But finally, in current year minus three, they won a massive award. The award, initially $44 million, later reduced to twenty five, dollars was appealed by Oberlin. And in April of this year, the school lost the appeal. By that point, uh, the fall judgment uh, plus the cost of attorney's fees has risen to $31 million. Oh, they got an they got an even higher one too. So this is how you win. Like this is the long game. When you're fighting against somebody that's stalling the case, like in this case, the two main plaintiffs were were dying, and and they in this case, sadly, the college succeeded. They dragged the case long enough that both of the two main plaintiffs died, but thankfully, their family has kept up the fight. Now. Whenever someone does this, these big organizations, the college tried to bankrupt this small family-owned business. They figured they can keep dragging this out in court until the Gibsons ran out of money and they had to drop it and the college doesn't have to pay shit. When you're in a situation like this, when you got a rich opponent that keeps dragging it out, if you have the ability to keep up the fight... By the time you win, they might end up having to pay double what they initially were ordered to. Like, that's what happened here. The longer they dragged out the fight, the higher their fees piled up. So they're they're definitely getting a big dose of everything they fucking deserve right now. But Oberlin appealed the case to the Ohio Supreme Court and asked uh, and also asked uh, they not be forced to pay the Gibsons until that appeal was resolved. The Ohio Supreme Court agreed to the latter request earlier this month. However, today it looks like the case might finally be over. The Ohio Supreme Court has refused to consider the appeal. The Ohio Supreme Court Tuesday said it would not take up the appeal of a $25 million judgment against Oberlin College in a business lawsuit uh, claiming it was libeled by the school after shoplifting incident uh, involving three black students. Oberlin College in a statement said officials are disappointed the Supreme Court did not hear the school's appeal. Yeah, they're disappointed that the, uh, the the court isn't as racist as they are. The issues raised by this case have been challenging not only for the parties involved, but the entire Oberlin community, the statement said. You, you realize if you guys, all you had to do to avoid this was apologize. Like, so initially, that that's what makes this story funny. All the Gibsons wanted was for them to apologize and stop smearing them as racist. Like, that's it. All they had to do was say, I'm sorry, my bad. We won't do it again. Put out a statement to everyone saying, yeah, don't worry, we were wrong. These guys aren't racist. That's all they had to do. Literally all they had to fucking do. Instead, they're going to end up paying over $30 million. So this case is not been challenging. They've been clear cut from the beginning. And despite that, Oberlin has dragged this process out for years. Yes, as I just ranted about, they wanted to drag it out until their opponents die and or run out of money. That was the whole point. This is a common tactic in the U.S. that big businesses use to, to oppress the little guy, especially if they know that there's no way they can win the case. So if there's no way they can win, they drag it out until you go bankrupt and can't afford to keep the case going. That was their strategy. They wanted to just outlast the Gibsons and make the problem go away. So this has gone on so long that the two members of the Gibson family have died waiting for the judgment to, to be paid out. David Gibson died in November of current minus three at 65. Alan Gibson died in February at 93. So it's hard to have sympathy for Oberlin at this point. In my view, the school lied about its involvement in the protests and then came up with dubious legal claims to try to, to try to avoid paying for its involvement. Yes, man. Yeah, Oberlin also has wealthy donors. Man, all those wealthy donors are going to be paying the Gibsons. 
The legal insurrection, which had the best coverage of the story for years, got a statement from the Gibson family. It reads, in part, the jury recognized Oberlin College's bullying tactics. The students admitted their misconduct, but Oberlin never admit that they were wrong. They presumed that they could bring the Gibsons to their knees. The power of truth uh, has enabled the Gibson family to survive Oberlin's onslaught. And now the family will never have to work again. Legal Insurrection founder William Jacobson notes that while it's not impossible for Oblin to appeal the loss to the Supreme Court, like the U.S. Supreme Court at this point. So they already got slapped down at the Ohio Supreme Court. So their last chance is to drag it out even further to the U.S. Supreme Court. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past them to try. Yeah, just to make the family suffer an extra couple of months or years. Now, it's extremely unlikely the Supreme Court to take up the case, which a, the Ohio Supreme Court declined to review. So it's almost certainly over, except for the crying in the Oberlin administration building. <laughs> yeah. But again, these guys are pure evil. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did this just to make the family suffer for a little bit longer. Now, the moral of the story here is that falsely accusing someone uh, of or some institution of racism can still cost you dearly, even if you're a woke college used to stuffing the curriculum with such material. Hopefully other colleges are getting the message. I don't think they are, but it's funny watching them suffer for it. So I'll take either one.